Welcome back to the Daily Vault Run. Today is September 27th, 2024, and I've already clicked the button for the free crystal that we had yesterday, and we can take a look at what we have for tomorrow's vault. And I think the one that's going to be the worst are the azaleas, because I know I have some, but on the other hand, it would be nice to get just a few more before I end up spending what I have. And then the rest is fairly trivial, especially because yesterday during... Uh, build phase, I put down a waystone inside a village. So we should be able to get the emeralds just fine. I think everything else in my inventory is perfect for vaults. So let's go on in. And unfortunately, I've already forgotten what my bounty is. I can't remember if it's more mining. I don't think so, because we took care of that during yesterday's scav vault, I believe. Okay, let's put on our buffs as always. And this time I have the passive speed boost, I think. Uh, what is that, an expertise? No. I have the second level of speed, yes. So I should be moving just a little bit faster. That's not really going to help my um, my DPS, but let's get in here. Oh, you know what? <laughs> Absolutely I'm going to take these. What do you mean? Oh, okay, well this is an elixir vault, and you know what, heck with it, we're gonna do this today. Because I saw one of these yesterday, and this can go one of two ways. Either we're going to get incredibly lucky, or everything's gonna be awful. What does this mean? What, what does this mean? Does it have to load? Have I... Oh! Hey! All right, uh, I got the good version. Excellent. All right, so we're going to use Silk Touch on the Gilded Blackstone, and I, is that the only thing there really is here? Is it just to get a whole bunch of gold? Ooh, Shroom Lights. Um, nah, I think I can get those easily enough. Oh, right. Yes, chests. That's right. I forgot. Oop. I think... No, I can't do ornate chests. Yes, I hear all of you. Honestly, uh, okay, so the first time I got one of these, I definitely got ambushed, and I don't think I had to place too many blocks in order to save myself. I think... Yeah, there we go. I, I should have just vein mined that. I'm not getting any elixir. Well, mostly because I'm not opening chests correctly, but... I want all this Gilded Blackstone, just because it's so rare. But this is the good outcome. We didn't get ambushed. That is vaguely surprising. Nope, that was a trap. Ooh, nice. The vein extended under. That was hot. I didn't want to have to mine that other one individually. Oh, either that or the radius is just improved? Okay, that's interesting. Man, we're getting a lot of gear today. I might not end up finishing this vault, but at the very least, we're getting some good stuff. At least, I hope it's good stuff. Ooh, I like all that carbon, thank you. Considering I'm really hurting for... What is it? Um, oh, hold on. Considering I'm really hurting for the chromatic steel, getting this much carbon is fantastic. Vault Trinket, yes. All right, thank you. That's awesome. Up until now, we've just had the XP Trinket, so whatever this next one is, is potentially going to really help us out. Ideally. Um, okay, 
I think I've got just about every other piece of Gilded Blackstone that I've seen so far. So I'm not going to spend too much time scouring the rest of this, because I'm pretty sure I've gotten everything. Um, have I gotten every chest? I think this is the last one. Oh, nope. I already did that one. Okay, so I'm pretty sure we just need to GTFO. And I think we're going to do that using the concrete powder. Oh, hold on. More Gilded Blackstone here at the entrance. Get that just because it's easy and not time consuming. Okay. Uh, now, I'm going to pillar up part of the way, but I also think that I can very easily just use my whole jump boost and dash technique. Yeah, like that. Okay. So that is the exit. You'll also notice that I've marked it in a different color set because we need... Oop. Because that room is just full of light colors, and I can switch back because now the rest of this azalea vault is clearly... Clearly something else. A different color scheme that won't make the birch blend in as much. Those are the words I'm looking for. Sometimes words are not that easy to find in the heat of the moment. Oh no, not you. I hate you. <laughs> Oh, did I proc that, or did I accidentally just totally waste my, um, mark? I think I proc'd that, because I think that's an on-hit effect, as opposed to a, um... As opposed to, uh, an on-kill effect. There we go, that's the word I'm looking for. Eh, cut limestone. Next time, I'm definitely going to make sure that I have all of the chest affinities before I finalize my tool. Because last time, I just, I can't believe I forgot the ornate. That sucks. Oop, ow. Oh, poison straight into a trapped chest. That sucks. And I did confirm while I was in the end yesterday that the group heal does, in fact, heal more for an individual as well. Okay, so I already did that one. Okay, it must be this one that I haven't. Okay. Gotta remember to keep grabbing these. No, not two at once. How rude. Stop that. How dare you. Oh, well, okay. Nice. Hey, as long as I get the kill before that triggers, I'm okay with anything. Uh, thank you for helping me out so much with tomorrow's vault? <laughs> I... that was just sheer dumb luck. Okay, I think I still have to go upstairs and downstairs. I see some living chests downstairs, so if I can't find upstairs fast enough, then I should just prioritize that. Oh, hello. Goodbye. Um, hmm. Uh, alright. Uh, no, that's a terrible idea. I shouldn't switch on the elytra, just in case. That would be a bad idea, just a really terrible idea. Um. Okay, I'm going to do downstairs first, because I'm taking too long thinking about that. There's definitely something, like, upstairs, I think, or, like, behind me. Ow. Oh, no, I spawned in one of these guys. That explains a lot. I think everything is clear, and thankfully gilded chests are on my Paxel, so we can get these. 
You'll love to see it. Um, I think that's everything for those chests. Love to get some living chests. Man, this is unfortunately going to take a little bit longer to edit because I'm like really dehydrated today and I am making just some unfortunate noises that are going to have to come out in editing. Oh boy, I didn't realize I didn't do this one yet. Oh hey, a shop. Awesome. Ow. No thank you. I hate the poison. Well, okay, if I have to be poisoned, then at the very least... Yeah, that, that didn't really help me at all. Okay, there we go. Um, okay, first I'll start with these ones down here. <laughs> Come on, it's just water, I think. I'm pretty sure... So, like, at some point, Minecraft changed how custom fluids work, and basically you have to implement either lava or water in order to, you know, make them have certain behaviors and the like. So I don't think that... Well, okay, it could have been custom honey using water as the basis, but still, I don't know about that. That shop was kind of sad. Sure would be nice if I actually got a dungeon or something like that. Honestly, when I fell into the X marks the spot room, I was hoping that it would trigger as a trap because that would have given me potentially a lot of elixir progress. And right now we're just not getting a whole lot. Oh, spore blossoms. Eh, can I get you? Eh. Um... Yes! Let's go. Yeah, so I'm definitely going to hold on to that stuff. Um, I'm going to put this in there, this in there, this in there. Um, and I think we can just keep... Hold on. Put that in there, too. Okay, let me see where did I come in. I must have come in from this side over here. Uh, okay, that side over there. There we go. Yes, that's fine. Okay, so we're going to go out this way. Oh boy, lots of azaleas. Now the thing is, I love the azalea tree itself, but stripped azalea is just, it's all green. It's nasty. <laughs> like, I can't, like, maybe I can work it into a very specific build in my base down the road, but uh, I definitely can't use, it. oh, I messed up my jump. I messed up my jump. That is very sad. Something is warped. oh, yep. Come on. There we go. There we go. There we go. Alright. Now, let's see if I can actually hit this jump correctly. Boing. Boing. Yeah, there we go. That's the ticket. Oh, you're terrified. Um, I definitely hear a slime. Yep, I definitely see a slime. Part of me is thinking that I should totally try to loot some of the, like, moss and stuff that's here, but the other part of me is like, no, I, I don't need to do that. Um, and the other part of me is like, yes, yes I do. <laughs> okay. Let us absolutely take some of the moss, and I guess some of the flowers too. Mining point of interest? I don't think this whole room is a mining point. Um, no, this whole room is a mining room. Awesome. Uh, well, that could help us out. We're not doing great on the elixir progress, but we're doing okay. I don't think this is quite going to get us there, but it's still something. Okay, I don't think there's any ores down there. Let me just double check. Yeah, everything seems to have gone in here. So, 
The thing that kind of sucks is there are definitely vault ores, and then there are vault ores that are just in regular stone. And the problem is, I don't have enough space in my bag to be able to take the regular ones. So only vault ores end up going into my sack. Well, that's a lie. There are a couple of regular versions of the ores that have gotten into my inventory. And unfortunately, uh, let's see, I'm getting a little bit turned around slash lost. Uh, yeah, there we go. This is the area I wanted to go to next. Oh, not the chicken. Why is it always chickens? That one had a special marker, and I don't know what it does. Um, boink. Okay, boop. 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 Oh, no, I'm still using the wrong thing. There we go, there we go. Boop. 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 Okay, I believe the only sights left must be downstairs. Man, I could have sworn I had chaining on this sword. It doesn't feel like I do, though. Maybe that was, like, two swords back? Um, boop. I don't think there are any other ones here. Yeah, no. Not in that corner. That kind of sucks. Here, though, that's nice. Alright, unfortunately, we are under half... Uh, we're roughly half the elixir remaining, but we're under half of the time. So I basically just need to keep getting lucky and finding mining rooms and stuff like that. And I don't think that's necessarily going to happen. So... Um, is that everything? I think that's everything. Sure looks like it. Okay, I'm going to try to cycle through some of this vault stone to make sure that there isn't... An ore I'm missing, and it sure as heck doesn't look like it. I'm going to just really quickly break my trail there. Um, there doesn't appear to be any more ore down here. No, yeah, okay. We keep moving, then. Oop, that's my tea. The problem with my desk setup is I don't have a whole lot of space for me to actually do a lot of deskly things. <laughs> if I keep getting ore rooms, there's a chance that I might be able to do this in seven minutes, but it's not terribly likely. And again, I think if I got a dungeon, that would be potentially good. Just because we'd get a lot of mob spawns. As long as it's a dungeon that I think I could actually complete. Uh, let's see, we've got some coin piles down there. We've got some normal chests, some living chests down in the basement. So I think I'm going to prioritize the basement first, after I kill all these slimes. Okay, and I guess it does proc just on kill. And so what I think I saw earlier was my javelin going off. I keep forgetting that I have the sonar one. And frankly, I'm not using it nearly enough as sonar. So as I observed in my build phase recording, I'm definitely going to switch out that specialty for the splitting one. Yeah, so if the honey is a custom fluid, and, you know, I'm just totally mistaken about its origins, then it is definitely a custom fluid based on lava, or water, not lava. Because I think lava always has to burn you, maybe? And emit light and flow slowly. It, it basically does different things to the shaders. So most, most custom fluids these days, I think, are using water as the base. 
Which is really funny, because if you play like Create Above and Beyond, and you put some molten metal next to you, it ends up behaving more like water, and it just straight up doesn't burn you like you would expect. Um, okay, that's decent. Oh, okay, um, I did suddenly get a burst of elixir just there, so maybe we stand a chance. I'm not going to, you know, definitively say we do, but it's going to be close. That's bad. think there's anything important in there so I'm not too fussed something spawned oh over there hidden room Okay, I think I'm liking my chances a little bit more granted there's a lot of stuff on the ground that I need to get rid of um, Oh boy, alright, um, what else can I get rid of? Let's get rid of that, because... Okay, I think I've taken all of the jewels into my inventory at the very least, so that's fine. Let's keep on heading up and out. Um, let me just find which way is towards the entrance. This away. Because at this point, we're, you know, I think two layers deep into the vault. And I think we've got one more room yet yeah, to the left that we can check out. This is going to be really close. And even if I do get this, like, I still haven't found a lodestone, so this could be problematic. Um, and actually, to save some time, what I'm going to do is I'm going to say the exit is this way, and then I'm going to just have to... Oh, it's a diamond room! Uh huh. game, why? I would love to be able to do something with this, but I don't have the time. There's not enough elixir stuff in here to merit it. Uh, Alright, well, there will be diamond rooms in the future, and there will be times when I'm actually going to need them, but in order to make sure I don't get lost, this is the way to the exit now. Is there an upstairs? There's kind of an upstairs. Yeah, okay, there is. I think I can do this. I think I just need to get on top of this middle rock and then boost dash myself over to this layer here. Nope. Blah. That was incredibly silly. Um, okay, more safely, I can jump parkour. I can parkour. Please. Yeah, I can kind of parkour my way just up here, I think. There we go, that's a little bit better. Ow. This is fine, I don't care about that, believe it or not. Okay. Um, okay, I don't have enough MP for my Hunter's Mark, that's interesting. Uh, uh, is there a downstairs? I think there is. Yes, there is. Drink some potion before I do that. Oh, hey, a lodestone, which will be fantastic if I just happen to get enough XP in this room. You know what? We have nothing to lose. We either complete the thing or we fail. Like, there are three possible outcomes. One is I die. Two is I flee the vault. Three is I complete the vault. And... Since we have the exit right here, I actually do kind of want to risk it for the biscuit and try to complete this. Because we're so close. Hate spiders. I hate spiders. This is going to be really tight. Oh 
Oh no. Oh no, I've lost the, um, the upstairs. I've lost upstairs. Okay. This is gonna be really tight. <coughs> oh no, I think I just have to try and flee at this point. I have to try and flee. Oh, look at that. We got to like 95% though. That's so dang close. This feels so bad. <sighs> there were definitely some places where I think I mismanaged my time a little bit. Um, in particular, I I really didn't need all that Gilded Blackstone, but it just looks so good. It's such a good block. Yoink. <sighs> Alright, let's see what we got here. We did still get enough XP to level up. Potentially even two levels. Um... No, I think it's just going to be one, though. Let's see. So we collected 12 po coin piles. Wow, I can't talk. Um, 41 ores mined, 77 chests looted. That's a lot. 194 mobs unalived. So I was moving a little bit faster in that vault thanks to the speed 2 boost. We have 42 wooden, 4 living, 4 gilded, and 27 ornate. 192 XP out of coin piles. And we mined quite a bit of ore. I hope all of that managed to make it into my sacks. Uh, let's see. We killed 194 mobs, as I said. The most XP-dense one is probably going to be the Tier 3 zombie, as always. Let's just go through this a little bit here. Ah, a lot of XP off of the slimes, but, you know, they're, they're itty-bitty. They just have a massive quantity there. And we did at least get the level up. Um, unfortunately, I know there was some stuff that I dropped at the end just there, so I'm going to... I'm going to put some of this stuff in here and put some of the gems that I got in, I guess, this top one. And I will double check what I had for the bounty. Oh, complete an elixir vault. No, we totally could have gotten that one done if I was just a little bit faster. If I just didn't waste that much time in the treasure room, we would have been fine. But whatever, this is whatever. This is fine. Um, first, let's start with the vault trinket. See what we get. And it occurs to me that I actually have to identify everything. So, Valara's Petal. Regeneration blue trinket slot, which is nice because I only have a red trinket right now, I think. Oop. I keep forgetting that scrolling on top of things equips or unequips them. Yes. So, now we have some regeneration. That's kind of whatever. Um, let me organize this stuff before we roll on it. And click. Nope. There we go. That's more like it. So, let's take a look at what we have here. This focus is kind of whatever. Yeah, it's kind of whatever. Um, that's a lot more mana, that's for sure. But I don't like the fact that it's got lower mana regen, lower soul chance, trap disarm, time acceleration avoidance, yada yada. So this is kind of meh. Um, the sword is meh. The vault chest plate... Oh wait, hold on. Stun chance, though, is pretty nice because I do have that one ability that applies novas potentially on... A stunned mob so having extra stun beyond just my turtle shell is probably a good idea but the sword still doesn't compare to the one that i currently have and just to prove it yeah we just have a lot more damage on my current vault sword so that's kind of eh. um we have a vault chest plate here what do we have mm, more armor less ability power so that's kind of meh um it's got more mana but less mana regen Less item rarity. That's a big one for me. Um, so I don't think we're using this chest plate. The focus is meh. The magnet is... Eh, it's got higher velocity. It's got lower range, lower durability, uh, lower reach. Um, oh yeah, and my current magnet also has item rarity and an empty suffix. I need to roll on that. But unfortunately... I didn't really get anything that I'm not just going to immediately scrap. On the other hand, uh, that was a decent vault. We almost succeeded. And we got a lot of stuff in there. And that's the important thing. We got stuff out of it. And I learned. So, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to like, subscribe, and click that bell to be notified. And as always, I'm looking forward to your feedback in the comments below. And with that, I will catch you on the flip side. Thanks for watching, everybody.